guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate angles in right angle triangles using trigonometry. Maybe you've heard of Sokotoa before, well that's what we're going to be using. This is just a way of helping us remember whether we're choosing sine, cos or tan. So S stands for sine, C stands for cos and T stands for tan and hopefully you've seen those buttons on your calculator before. These other letters, O, H and A, they stand for the sides in the triangle. So O stands for opposite, H stands for hypotenuse and A stands for adjacent. So when we look at these triangles, the first thing we need to do is label the sides given to us in the question with those words, so opposite, hypotenuse or adjacent. So in the first one, I'm only going to label these two sides because these are the two sides that I know. The hypotenuse is always the longest side and it's always found opposite the right angle, so this one here. This side is the adjacent. Adjacent is like against. This side here is against the angle that we're trying to find in this question. Okay, so if you can remember adjacent or against, it has to touch the angle you're trying to find. So we need to choose either sine, cos or tan. We need to choose the one that uses adjacent and hypotenuse. Well, if I look at these letters, this one uses adjacent and hypotenuse. So I'm going to be using cos for the first question. So locate cos on your calculator. When you're finding angles, you need to use cos minus one, or sine minus one, or tan minus one. So to find that, usually you have to press shift followed by cos. If you do that on your calculator now, hopefully you'll find that will give you cos minus 1. Now, the rest of it, this tells us the order in which we must divide the sides. So, because we've got A followed by H, we need to divide in that order. So, adjacent, so this one, which is number 8, goes on top. And the hypotenuse, which is 11, goes underneath. So this one is on top and this one goes underneath. And that's the calculation. That's what you need to put into your calculator. So you can either do cos minus one with the fraction button, like I've done there, or you could do eight divided by 11, that's the same thing. So put that into your calculator and we're going to round to one decimal place for these angle questions. So the first one, you should get 43.3 degrees. Okay, on to the next one. So remember, the first step is to label the two sides that are given in your question. So these two here. So this one over here, it's opposite the angle we're trying to find. So that's the opposite. And this one is against. So this is adjacent. It's against the angle we're trying to find. Remember, the hypotenuse is the one opposite the right angle. But I don't need to label that one because I don't know that length. So this time I'm using opposite and adjacent. So when I look at Sokotoa, the one that uses opposite and adjacent is this one here. And T is for tan, remember? So this time you need tan minus one. So press shift followed by tan on your calculator to bring up the tan minus one. And then remember, we're dividing this way. We're doing opposite on top, so that would be three. And adjacent underneath, so that would be seven. So you can put that in the calculator. And um, again, we're going to round to one decimal place. So that would be 23.2 degrees. Okay, so there's the second one. Okay, this one up here. So just as before, label two sides, the two that have been given in the question. This one is opposite the right angle. So that must be the hypotenuse. And this one over here, it's opposite the angle we're trying to find. So that's the opposite. So the one that's using opposite and hypotenuse is that one there. And S stands for sine. So this time you need sine minus one. So again, you press shift followed by sine. And then remember we're dividing opposite divided by hypotenuse. So the opposite is the numerator in our fraction. So that would be 16. And the hypotenuse is the denominator in our fraction, so 21. So put that in your calculator. Remember, you can use the fraction button or you could press divide here instead. It's exactly the same thing. And if I round to one decimal place, I get 
9.6 degrees. So there's number three. Okay, in the last one, we have to watch out because the units aren't consistent. This one has been given in millimetres. So I need to change that into centimetres first. So divide by 10 because there are 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So now I've got the same units, I can do the calculation. So remember, label the two sides first. So the one opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. The one against the angle is that one there. So I'm using A and H. So that would be this one here. So we're using C, which is for cos. So again, you locate cos minus one. So press shift followed by cos on your calculator. And we're doing A divided by H. So the adjacent is seven, remember, not 70. So we've got seven on top. And the hypotenuse is the denominator, which is 10. So put that in your calculator and we're going to round to one decimal place again and it's 45.6 degrees. Okay, so just remember when you're finding angles you need to use minus one. Okay, so you need to press shift on your calculator usually in order to get that because afterwards in my next video I'm going to do finding sides in right angle triangles using angles and sides and then in those questions you need to forget the minus one so it's just for angles you're using minus one and make sure you label those triangles correctly at the beginning because if you label them wrong you'll end up choosing sine when it should be cos or tan when it should be sine okay so labeling the triangle is very important Okay, so that's all from me for today and goodbye.